Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Saving Your Disaster campaign Dark Event Massacre. Um, and I completely and utmostly forgot to press the recording button when we were preparing this mission. This is uh, the Covert Ops uh, mission, or the Resistance Order mission rather, that we have uh, started uh, last time. And we're jumping right into the action, just like you uh, like it. The idea is still to kind of level a couple of uh, these guys and mainly have a bit fun whilst we're using the Covert Ops missions in order to get the last two kernels. We got with us Reliable here um, in a captain, a captain rank. Icepick, uh, still a captain, I think, at this point. Uh, Circuit, our uh, Reaper, is going to lead the fray. We have a brand new mech, uh, Spark number two. Hasn't even received a name yet. We got Animal, uh, the Major, and we got Zirkim, the sort of sniper scout-ish class that I haven't really fully figured out. Long story short, we're trying to locate an Advent Field Commander, and let's uh, take a look on where we need to go. The problem with that uh, particular mission is the moment that we have uh, lost concealment here, it's going to be the moment when the actual mission is going to start. So let's take a good look and start moving in. Okay, so that's the typical waiting room. No one is standing up here, which means we can advance. Sometimes it's worthwhile just using uh, using the cursor as an indicator in order to double check if the space is being taken. Due to the dark event, we can only really advance with our hidden or concealed units. Spark here isn't really concealed. So let's maybe position it up there. Reliable. Hmm. I'm wondering. Reliable is concealed, right? Yeah. Good. Let's put them here. Animal is not concealed. Might as well place her back. And Zirkim is concealed. Let's take the sniper spot. Okay, so far so good. We want to make sure that we're not triggering. At least not immediately. The loss will certainly not make that easy because they in return are also uh, quite sizable. Like the swarms will take up a lot of space and we will easily lose our cover. So my gut tells me that we're potentially going to fight somewhere here. This alley isn't too bad because this fight from here to here is good and as long as we're not being backstepped from here that's the end of the map already we're actually doing quite well let's advance and take a good look okay so that's an archon but not an archon prime And by positioning ourselves, uh, by positioning ourselves down here, I actually you. should be fine for now. A couple of losses on the other side. Okay. Okay. So, what are we going to do with the others? I mean, we could theoretically move all the way up here, right? That's an aggr very, very aggressive move. We wouldn't be spotted out. Not yet. Out. So that's okay. Same Rolling deal down out. here. Spark, on the other hand, has to be a bit more careful. On the move. Not to be spotted out. Hmm, what are we going to do with uh, Zirkim? I mean, we could move him up okay. here and then grapple hook a bit closer. 
That's fine. Heading out. On Overwatch. And we got a couple of Overwatches. Okay, so far so good. We haven't really ruffled any feathers. The moment that we're getting uh, discovered though, things will change. Okay, core question. Are we already going to engage on that? Potentially not yet. Let's get into position. Okay, that worked out well. And let's explore what else is out here. I go where you tell me. Their clumsy patrol is moving. All right, lots of enemies. Those potentially will run into them and trigger one another. I will go. Okay, moving a bit closer. Again, not triggering yet. We could move all the way up here. We do have Ever Vigilant, right? Guardian, Covering Fire. No, we don't have Ever Vigilant. Still, should we move up? I think we're okay down here for now. Don't want to take any chances. Overwatch. 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 Set Overwatch okay, next turn is potentially the go. Yeah, those guys are triggering. For those of you who are unaware, is they can totally peacefully coexist on a map, but if you can, if you spot out both um, Advent and and uh, the uh, Lost, then they will eventually start uh, to trigger. Ah, oh, that unfortunately didn't work out. Too bad. Mutant Prime. Oh god. Well. Good. Even more losses. And for a brief second I saw that there are more Advent down here. So we got to be potentially careful not to trigger those guys as well. Okay, time to start. And starting we will. Shredding the Andromedon. Nice. Very nice. And what's for edit? I'm wondering if we could like blow a nice little hole into into the balcony. The answer seems to be no. We could theoretically stand down here and use the shredder gun, but that would be a bit wasteful. I'd much rather take the high ground. And we're going to overdrive.
Time to hit this guy. Uh, we're not shredding. That is unfortunate. Alright, suboptimal. Yeah, I think we need more. More lost one uh, ones. This here could be an uh, an option. Actually, a pretty decent option. Would finish most of these guys, but we would. I know that there is a gatekeeper um, in this map, as the Shadow Chamber has forecasted that. And I'd like to be mindful not to pull the uh, the gatekeeper without a flashbang. Plus, we do have Silent Killer, so might as well just kill this guy here. What we can do at the same time is we can shred him. Yeah, with a Claymore. I think that's the play. Can we hit that other guy? Uh, no, we can't. Okay, well that would be one option. We do have run and gun and blade storm ready. So we could always move back. Problem is uh, they teleport, so blade storm really doesn't work that well with them. Uh, normal uh, loss, on the other hand, are very susceptible to it. The Andromedon has plenty of options uh, to take shots. I think we're going to shred and uh, hold target that guy. I'm on it. Good, moving up. Theoretically, we would have a Mimic Beacon left over. I don't think that we need it. I still have extra damage against the Valkyrie. And shall we take even better positions. I think this year would be almost the best position. On my way. They've seen me. It's all good. Let's kill the Codex. The other Codex needs to die. Easy. Okay, we could move all the way over here to here. I think that would be the plan. Run and gun it is. <coughs> Making sure that we're not triggering anyone over here. <coughs> okay, let's go. And that'll be a kill. Enemy eliminated. Implaceable plus air trigger. That's not bad. Should we move up even further? I wonder. We got untouchable. Lost turn comes first. It's a risky maneuver. And we eventually would trigger more from there, which I don't want. 
And kind of the no regret move here would be to hit the Andromedon. Or this guy. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, let's just try to clean up the loss. Okay, didn't work out. That means the Andromedon would have not been a hit either. Okay, even more loss are now joining the battle. And there we go, Bladestorm into a solid kill. Still got untouchable. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract a general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. Okay, well. Now we gotta find that that general. Ah, oh, come on. He had hundreds of targets and he still chose to to attack our two clustered up targets. I was thinking about uh, effectively not clustering up and taking the position on the other side, but I thought, you know what, too many losses. I was thinking, you know what, nothing will happen. Let's just go. Good, moving out of here. Let's get some of the losses down. One, two, and let's hit uh, the Andromedon. Good, very good. Oh yeah! A little bit of reloading here, and a little bit of critting here. We got a hair trigger. RNG is kind to us uh, this turn. Eight to nine, so that's two, four, six, eight, nine. That's a fifty-fifty. Unfortunately, can't let that happen. We gotta kill the guy down here, elsewise we can't really move down. Andromedon shell. Let's mark it. And let's try to Kill some of the losses as well. Yeah, didn't work out. Down to one HP, that's what I was afraid of. But with pistol, we can sidearm him. And him. Target eliminated. Okay, so far so good. That'll be almost a kill. Unfortunately, we can't shoot twice. That's a problem. <clears throat> We're dealing more damage with the pistol, but not enough. So, here we go. Blue screen rounds work beautifully. Oh, I've 
almost forgot about the faceless one. How could I? On your order. Moving up. Andromedon would be 100% kill. Moving over here, I, am to obey. I need to spot out where the captain is. Okay, so next up, let's try and hit that faceless one. Okay. Fantastic. And finally, let's kill him. Okay, Lost Swarm will help us. I think I just saw the captain. I think I just... Yeah, there he is. These guys are frozen. Wow. This looks a little ugly. Combat damage sustained. Let's talk about so let's talk about unfortunate circumstances. Zirkim definitely has taken the short end of the stick in that entire mission. Two, four, five. All right. Zirkim needs to get into a better position. Moving up here. Okay. Now, with that, let's heal him. And we're back in business. That's good. We know that the advent is right there. Let's start clearing the field a bit more. The advent captain needs to die and we will essentially need to start moving into that direction. The swarm generally helps us, but only to an extent. At some point, we also need to push forward. This is where the captain is at, and he needs to die. Enemy destroyed. Going to be ugly. We know that there are more just down the line. Question is if we position ourselves here, can we see the captain or is this pile of crates in the way? But if my memory serves me well, the captain was like right in the middle. It's worth a try. An alien patrol. I have found our objective. Purifier. Shield bearer. Priest. Lost. Lost. Purifier. Shield bearer. Priest. Hmm. We gotta get better 
line of sight. And the only way to get that is by blowing things up. Eventually this year. Before we do that though, let's mark the priest. Okay, we even hit it. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Good. This will eventually trigger more of them. Okay, well, Captain kind of positioned himself over there. I will let them deal with all of the losses here. We move over here. I want to be reasonably close. We'll, we'll move him at the end. Okay, shield bearer. I see. Good. Reloading. Reloading. And let's see what we can do from here. Got some loss and got that cryo priest. Let's first of all get lo uh, rid of the loss. In this case, they are unfortunately blocking us. We still have a Mimic Beacon, if push comes to shove. For now, let's kill the Priest here. Good one. Okay. Lovely. We don't know if this is another faceless one. And if my memory serves me well, there was... One guy like standing literally, yeah, literally behind there. Good. If we move to here, we should be fine. I just want a free line of sight I am on, the move. on our target. Okay, 50% to hit him. Could move to here, drop down. Or even to here. Here is better because it's closer. We could take a protocol in order to defend that. If we actually kill him, if we actually kill him, we get untouchable and replaceable. So all we need to do is we need to land one shot. This guy is unfortunately just out of um, range. And if it wouldn't hit our own... Um, if it wouldn't hit our own guy, 
I might even consider just trying to use the Shredstorm cannon. to 11 that's like what two four six seven eleven points so that's barely a kill uh eight to eleven but there is a very high chance for a crit if we were to do that Position confirmed. moving up and yeah that that's almost a secure kill Implacable to get into full cover again. Who's the most vulnerable target? I hate the setup up here because uh, the mech might come in and just take a shot so. In order to prevent that from happening, let's just use the Mimic Beacon. I'd rather proactively have one Mimic Beacon going, instead of uh, afterwards hating myself for the mech uh, that is going to move in. Yeah, payback time. Very nice. Double move. Okay, we got to deal with the captain. That's a mutant prime. Ooh. Okay, the mimic beacon worked out well. Spark has taken quite a bit of damage. What we could do is we could move in here and then just um, use uh, the Shred Storm Cannon. That's one option. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nope. Lost brood. It's killing time. Okay, we gotta deal with some of the lost sin. The ones like the lost brood are unfortunately quite heavy to deal with. Heavy mech. Let's start shredding it. We got a good position up here, but there is a lot of pressure on this position. A lot of pressure. This one here would work. Gotta be careful though. really would like to kill this guy. But 
what's the play, right? What are we going to do? So we have a second Mimic Beacon. I do have an idea of how we can kill him. But that might expose our mech. Which, in return, I don't like as much. We could, however, let it stand here. Okay, well, this is an aggressive play. Good. That deals with a lot of the cover. Still got to deal with these guys here. All right, so eight protocol for our mech. Because he's highly exposed. And then Comet Protocol into the Heavy Mech. Which should almost bring it down. Could use uh, the flashbang grenade as a massive AOE, but that would reduce our chances to deal with the um, gatekeeper later. It would be good damage though, uh, uh, score a couple of kills, and help us a lot now. But as I was once told, never shit your pants, uh, piss your pants. In the short uh, run, it might be warm and comfortable, but in the long run, you do have a problem. Never uh, prioritize short term gains over long term gains. So, six to seven points of damage that's like what two, four, six could even kill the, uh, the purifier there. It will definitely kill the mech. Of course. 50-50 on the purifier and he survived. Two, four, six, seven. Oh, that's 100% kill. Very good. Reloading. Sidearm. Still very good. And we're looking at a Mamba, okay. Can we somehow hit this guy there? Is the question. Move all the way over here. Mamba is currently not the problem at all. Okay, let's first of all do the other stuff. 
First things first. Um, we want to kill the captain because we only have two more turns and there is still a prime over here. Good. Captain needs to die. Captain will die by the order of banish. Alright, come on. Nice, 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 nice. Keep it going. Good. That solves our problem. Good, let's get him out with teamwork. And immediately re stealth into shadow. But we can move all the way over here. We would get untouchable, so even if he hits us. Uh, even if he explodes, we should not take any damage. Well, that was a lie. I have taken damage. I could position myself over here, and that would protect against that swarm. Because we have Bladestorm. So let's do that. Bladestorm it is. Still got a heavy shot here. Might as well take the shot on to the Mamba. Alright, didn't work out as expected. Rest went surprisingly well. Another Lost Swarm appears. And hopefully they will deal with the Advent. We're going to withdraw a bit and are trying to hold our position. definitely a highly target rich environment there's the blade storm that I was thinking about worked out well this guy will have a field day because he can just burn all of them down. That's such a fun mission. We're having a really good position with the high ground and letting them essentially funnel into us. And as long as our uh, operatives here on the ground can survive, we should be fine with playing the high ground. And this year we sh must make sure that, that no one's coming uh, through this side. Oh yeah, wow. That was highly valuable. He essentially just took out all of them in one go. Good, the name of the game for us must be to fall back now. Biggest threat for now is potentially that uh, prime Got him. but the prime seems to want to deal with uh, all of uh, these guys here and that's fine wow crits for 11 that is hardcore Oh, a boomer. Uh oh, that means more of them are coming soon. And now he's almost out of ammunition. Well, too bad, right? <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, let's... He can shoot pretty far. That's impressive. That Bladestorm trap here has worked super well. We got a top of everybody, so heal it is. Let's just go into the shadows. And we need to shred the prime. He should have mostly lost available, so his reflexes should not trigger. Well, so much for that. We're now officially in one shot range, which is which is exactly when it's a good idea to pull back. Two, four, six, seven. Done. Let's get the zombie down. No life signs present. Okay, so far so good. Well, he's shredded. If we were to charge in, out of curiosity, like what are we dealing with? Oh, it's a mutant. <laughs> we're dealing with Counter Strike, of course. What a question. We know there are more back here. So our idea, or our job now is to fall back, not to move and advance further. Killing a few lost. We gotta make it really difficult for him to hit us up here. Six, seven. My problem is charging in here will likely trigger more enemies and I don't want that. All of this here is dangerous territory at this point. Reloading once because we need more shotgun shells. I am running and gunning. I like the idea of standing in solid cover. So this here will do. Maybe we're taking a mimic beacon.
Common Protocol is not a good idea against him. We're just overwatching. Zerakim could take a shot. That's actually not too bad of an idea. I should have first planted. Okay, that was good. I'm actually rather happy that that missed. Smoke bomb. And we're going to plant a smoke bomb right there. Eventually triggering another swarm. And since it is a prime, might as well use our second mimic beacon. I don't want the uh, the uh, spark to die. So our overwatches are already gone. Luckily Bladestorm works quite well. Target neutralized. Should have brought the lure with me, uh, with a lure for the chosen uh, for the loss, it would have worked very well. Yeah, and we got a gatekeeper, so that's one of those situations where you can't really decide if you want to deal with the prime or the gatekeeper first. Okay, they are missing the Mimic Beacon. That's actually a pretty good Mimic Beacon, it seems. Good. First of all, let's get rid of some of the lots, the ones that are close for comfort. Okay. And secondly, we could like hit all of them nicely with a huge flashbang grenade. Equally so, we could start priming the prime, if that makes sense. The other option. He's burning. Does that mean he can't counterattack? It means he can't counterattack in in normal classical XCOM, but doesn't necessarily mean he can't counterattack here. In order to do that, you need to like hit him with a flashbang grenade. Couple of things before we start. Let's set up this Mamba. Okay, down to four HP. Now, massive flashbang here. That's the right play. It's everyone. 
and the Prime should have very limited aim. expecting that he would have problems hitting us good now he is now that he is um, taken care of driving we still need to clean up the field too many enemies here mama needs to die eventually we will need to move back i'll think about that when the time comes We could hit that elite trooper, we could also hit the prime. And with that we could kill the prime. Do we have run gun? No, we don't. We could move up and slice him. shredding unfortunately we're bypassing some armor but we're not shredding okay cool or not i mean we could use a claymore can't really reach them fully it feels like not the time to withdraw at the same time, I don't want to overdo it, so... It sucks, but sometimes it's the right decision to not push further. Okay, Zirkin. I'll start with that elite trooper, I suppose. Let's deal with the prime first. I speak a protocol just in case if the retaliation isn't suppressed. Alright, that's well, going to be fun. Okay, he should react. And that triggers Bladestorm again. <laughs> mm. Okay, he's burning, he's effectively dead. Let's not waste our precious resources. Gatekeeper could take some damage. Opsa could take some damage. We gotta thin the field even further. Elite Trooper it is. Prime is effectively dead. 
That's a good chance of hitting that elite officer. Decent chance of hitting the trooper. We gotta make sure that we take enemies off the, the battlefield. No point in chasing ultra high crits if it just doesn't manif uh, manifest. Good, let's leave the other loss uh, there. We can continue with Purifier theoretically. The other option is... The Assault would be a good target as well. The other option is the Gatekeeper, who definitely needs to die sooner or later. Alright, starting that. Problem with the gatekeeper is the moment that it can act, it will use its gateway and resurrect approximately 1500,000 zombies here. And then we have a real problem. So that needs to be our next target. We have like one more round. they are taking some damage, right? Alright, the Prime is down. guy also needs to die. We have two really solid targets there. And as long as we're continuing to chuck grenades, more lost will spawn. And that means Edmund continues their rampage on the other side of the map. Dasher dies right here. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, we gotta we gotta use the spark for that. Because we the, the gunner we need the gunner uh, to definitely explode and uh, shred the uh, sector pod and not the sector pod the gatekeeper what am I saying? Okay, we'll leave the remaining guys uh, there. Thirty-nine percent. That's not a lot. like to hit we fortunately don't have a hundred percent hit does anyone else have polar targeting Good to go. zirkim here does not have polar targeting yeah we're that's bad that's unfortunately quite bad we do have claymores though, and 
we explode it the right way, both of them will take quite a bit of damage. Good. That's placing it, uh, placing it there with another explosion that will be sufficient. Good. Starting to mark the gatekeeper with hold the target. Even if we don't hit, it's okay. It happens. It happens. Now that, on the other hand, should trigger more loss, because we have two explosions right there. And we would shred for five, I think. Yeah, five. Eighty-five percent. Well, that's not too bad. Could could move up and try to hit him. I want to keep our stealth, so this here will actually be a silent killer. Trying to clean up the field as much as possible. Good, we need a hit now. We need a good hit, come on. That was a good hit. Fantastic, well done, Zirkim. Moving as close as we can without taking the explosion. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That must be on the upper uh, side of uh, the damage. Upper end of the spectrum, that is. No one is injured. And we take the high ground somehow, somewhere. Still has targets over here, so should not be as afraid as I am. Full cover is safe over here. It's a 50-50. Come on. Unfortunate. All right, we're looking for crit. It hit the plate. No good. Dead in the water here. Yeah, let's let's try our luck. Seventy percent is good enough. Oh wow! Well, they increase the explosion range. And we're looking at another Lost Swarm. This is such a battlefield. But the big threats are now gone. And... We can slowly but surely start to ease up. That gatekeeper dying, that was huge. Of course, it wouldn't be a real XCOM mission if there wouldn't be even more enemies. Holy moly. He's doing a nice job in kind of keeping them at bay. 
I think overall he has actually helped us more than he has hurt us. Alright, movement reload, that means all of his actions are gone. And surprisingly enough, we're still standing. Ice pick gets a heal. Cool. Good lot stasher. Two, four, six, seven. That's a hundred percent kill. We don't like dashers. Might as well kill him. Okay, cool. Starting to nicely hit this guy. And that might even trigger more loss. Who knows? Just overall too many explosions. We could simply conceal and let them come. Hostile target eradicated. Oh wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of hit points. Okay, slowly but surely wiggling down some of the loss. This guy here is still a problem. Let the lost just stay there for now. But I think we're going to focus on the officer. really work out good we're concealing and we're double reloading just to get the shotgun loaded again plus in order to not um, provide any targets spark will also move away it's the only one shot target that we do have and the lead officer over there let them actually come over. Give me time to reload. Reloading. And then we're overwatching. Okay, cool. Good. Some of the losts do not really have targets at the moment. Phasis 1 will potentially just move into our direction, and I was hoping that they will like, scatter and go for him. Uh, partially that worked out. The problem with this guy is he's still hitting quite hard and he's in cover, plus we don't have cover removal and really all, almost all of our cooldowns are completely gone. He cleans them up quite nicely. <laughs> and then he marks it. Okay, cool. Is he going to trigger Blade Storm? Oh yeah. They're on to me. Nice. Uh, 
Okay, first of all, let's get rid of some of the loss. For reloading, we're going to take out that cluster here, mostly. What? Okay. Now the reload did, did no longer function. That's interesting. Good, one down. Enemy down. Ready to go. I think that is the last auto reload. Yes, okay. Let's kill them with the sidearms. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's not a hundred percent chance of killing it. Understood. Moving out. Superior expanded magazine. Well, that's a great reward. We got hair trigger and implacable. Which to me says move the fuck in and never move out. There you go, buddy. Went off the armor. Weapons empty, can't engage. Alright. Spark is moving up. Takes one shot. Uh, that's a good chance of actually killing him. Good, moving up. Let's get this guy down. Six points, two, four, six. See yep, if that's a hundred percent kill. Death to the invader. Oh boy. Eighty enemies with a rookie team. That was a kill mission. I like it. What a mission! That was a bloodbath. If you enjoyed it, now is the time to write a comment uh, down below. Whilst the memory is still fresh, that is some quality entertainment. We had a massive shootout. Doesn't get much better than that. Ooh, look at that. Can I either sustain or repair itself? Interesting. Yeah, we're definitely going to take repair. Next level, face off, which I think we're going to do, or shot that doesn't deal any damage but disorients the target. Yeah, I can see reasons for taking it, but I can see many, many more reasons for face off. Well, look at that. We got a lot of weapon fragments, 61 lost corpses. They suffered the most. Quite a bit of heavy weapon fragments. And a scientist. Plus we countered infestation, which is chrysalids on every single mission. Could you believe? It really can be even worse than it is.
Wow. That was a punchy mission. Good, let's get go for some loot. We're on the finish line. We just need two more promotions for the majors. And then it is time for the last mission. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. Cool, so all of them are dead. That's good. Alien Cypher is nasty. Bleeding Ren sort of is okay. It's pretty nasty still, but it's better than the others. Um, I think we're just going to put that GTS in here again. We'll do as we're told. 405 supplies. Do we have anyone who needs negative traits removed? No one yet. Training center, just how many ability points do we have? Nine, well that's not enough yet. And it'll take us nine days to, uh, to get the promotion. Okay, well, it still takes some time. Wall of weapons also takes some more time, okay. I'm just impatient. I want it now. Yeah, let's get the 400 supplies. That'll make our life much, much easier. We could also get another recruit and start them as a sergeant. Okay, Avatar Project is slowly starting to take uh, to tick back up. Another important step forward in our research. Good, we got the World of Weapons. I think we're just gonna go with data pad decryption for now. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. The mysteries of the Good. In terms of building the items and upgrades, um, we are still struggling to simply understand the already. Yeah, we don't have the light or the heavy weapon fragments. What we could do is we could upgrade the shadow lance, which definitely in itself is a great upgrade. In terms of inventory. Light weapon fragments, we would need 30 more. Heavy, we would need 40 more. Eventually you will get there, but not in that playthrough. We're not going to uh, do all of uh, those. So might as well just go with the Shadow Lance. But we're not taking a Reaper with us, so that's well, actually not that useful. Is there anything here that we need? Hmm, do we need another prototype plasma weapon? I think we got all of the weapons. So we should be fine. Red Storm Cannon, that's good. Let's get one more. I want to try for the Blaster Launcher. There we go. Okay, that's a good upgrade. Just in case we need it. Deals a massive amount of damage. And with Rainmaker um, from... Uh, from the uh, from the spark ability it's actually quite uh, powerful let's visit the black market and see if we can also gain some more pcs's typically they sell one or two of them and we should get an influx of 100 intel Superior Agility, yes. Superior Conditioning, yes. Okay, so we're the, those are the two that we need. 
There's another grenadier kernel right here. Nice and heavy weapon fragments. That isn't bad either, but we don't have enough intel, I think, to do all of it. Heavy weapon fragments still would not be enough to upgrade the weapons. But we might just farm intel in order to um, convert it into usable items. Good. A lot of people have recovered from their wounds. Is there anyone with negative traits? Answers no. Good. And let's hope that there is a covered ops mission. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do. That will give us I another uh, promotion. Own. I would go for yet another data pad. Because uh, there are quite a few things that we can purchase for Intel. Together, we have nice. In our task. We got the promotion and the superior autoloader. That's not bad either. Good weapon upgrade. We've got a shot at hitting the elders hard. Something we haven't tried before. So right, uh, right here we got a promotion and ability points so both of the things that we need. That's good. This one isn't bad either. I like uh, better bonds. That's a promotion and a sergeant uh, which we could get back. Uh, cool part about this here is it only takes six days but it would be another mission. Ooh, that is fantastic information war and nine dodge well I think it's quite clear that we're going to go with uh, this one here knockout is going to be the last kernel that we need we don't want a wounded soldier so let's not take that and knockout has Buros Burden. Who's that? There we go. Okay, so nine days. Yeah, it doesn't really change anything because they are not on uh, bond rank two. If they would be on bond rank two, it would reduce uh, the days by one. Yeah, nine days and we finally got the last promotion and then we can go for the last mission. In the meantime, let's take a look at our soldier here fanfire versus serial difficult decision but we got death from above which is quote unquote uh, the serial uh, for the poor man um, serial however can be good if you play your cards right for now let's just go with uh, fanfire still has eight ability points With 18 more, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, only eight here. We could go with Implacable, for instance, and even Serial. Hard, uh, hard to pass um, that ability, but we, if my memory serves me well, we wanted Serial here would be much more costly if my memory serves me well we wanted some sort of ability here yeah yeah capacitated discharger that is better but i think we can get both uh, with the 18 points that we're getting serial and capacitator discharger so that would be good Let's just check uh, the any soldiers who just have a lot of individual AP. The answer is clearly no.
Good, let's get that data pad um, decrypted. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Good. Engineer placed in here. Fantastic. We're up to 16. We could now, with the necessary intel, just make contact to other regions and get further bony. Is there any more bonus that we need? Volunteer army is good, but doesn't help you on the last mission. Pursuit of knowledge is not helpful. We have already researched everything. Good, another 100 intel. Not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Commander? The turrets we see. Good. I'm not sure. We already have blue screen rounds, so turret breakdown shouldn't get us anywhere. Okay. Black market, on the other hand, should definitely get us some more preparation. Buying. Uh, I would like uh, superior conditioning. Yes, please. Great. Superior agility. Yes, please. Both of them great survival tools. Uh, we could get a Grenadier. Hmm. Maybe one with better skills, who knows. Alternatively, we could get the Superior Hair Trigger, Superior Expanded Magazine and Superior Laser Sight. All three are not bad either. Hmm. Which weapons would we need to expand? Are there any? I mean, we can upgrade a few, I suppose. With the same logic, another Grenadier wouldn't hurt either. And we could even get that expanded magazine and the grenadier almost both of them the intel is good enough yeah let's get the grenadier setting course for the west asian corridor who knows sometimes if you get a colonel might be a genius colonel okay well we're potentially going to ignore that one you might end up with a genius uh, colonel with all of the right traits let's take a look here we're going for shredder yes please okay so that's one of the new class uh, classes i see cannon proficiency okay yeah, I think we're going to go with that. Huge defense bonus. Salvo. Uh, yes, please. Volatile mix. Fantastic. Shot that doesn't deal damage, uh, but is likely to destroy the enemy's cover. Yeah, volatile mix. Okay. One free proximity mine. One additional point of base damage with your primary weapon. That's a difficult one. Uh, we potentially can get both. What? You get a grappling hook with this class? Holy shit. Yeah, that's better than saturation fire. It's an odd version of a Grenadier. Let's see what his extra abilities are. Johnny Bravo, what do you what have you going for uh, what do you have going for yourself? What? He can equip a med kit? 
Okay. With what of your weapon can be used to unarm, okay. Hail of bullets for 10, hail of bullets for 10. Not sure why exactly he can get the same, but uh, the same abilities that he could anyways get. 14 here and hail of bullets seems like a great idea. Uh, what, you can get even an additional rocket on top of it? If you get at least one kill during your turn, you automatically hunker down. <laughs> okay. This seems so random to me when I'm just reading through um, through the abilities. There's no rhyme or reason why you would have those abilities together. It's almost like just mesh everything th uh, together that we have for good for good measure. There are duplicates in here. I'm not sure if I want to play with that in the final mission. Like, I would skill it like that, potentially, just because uh, that used all of his uh, skill points. But yeah, he does have Salvo. How would his loadout even look like? I'm not sure if we've just drafted the Uber Soldier, or if this is going to suck during the mission. Good. So I assume he has an extra grenade. No, he does not because he didn't have uh, that perk. But just going through what he would have is he has volatile mix. He has a free proximity mine. So that is quasi like an extra grenade. A good one. He has salvo. He does have a shitty aim, but cannon proficiency, so extra defense. The grapple is nice. I don't know. I mean, look, it's it, it's a nice class, potentially, but I would need to play from the very beginning to, to get a feel for what we're doing. In terms of last mission, Miro is going to be with us, so... I would like her to take uh, the superior conditioning. Because you never want your healer to die. Extra hit points, good. Marksman doesn't have a personal combat sim either. That's a problem. I know that superior focus will not help him to be more efficient um, with his psi abilities. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. Ranger takes the dodge. Okay. Fake Hogbite takes the superior focus. And we have another superior focus. Yeah, it's not the best set of PCSs, but I never uh, thought uh, told you that it would be the best. I know that Knockout has superior perception as a PCS, so apparently that still exists. Once uh, they are promoted, we do have, I think, a good team uh, for the last mission. And in order to not drag out that uh, playthrough longer than absolutely necessary, we're skipping the next mission. It was just a landed UFO. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Our research was a success, Commander. Advent Got defense matrix. Stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Let's get some more data pad decryption. I will begin our research immediately. And two more days and we should be good. All right, combat preparedness. We got the promotion. We got 16 ability points. Fantastic. Let's carry on for now. We don't need another mission. Commander.
Commander. We should make use of the ring facility and deploy our Good. idle soldiers on a covert. So she has superior uh, perception in here. We're promoting her. And it's either rupture or saturation fire. And given that we are fighting against quite a few really, really, really tough enemies, rupture is the way to go. We need salvo on her though. Uh, that is important. So training center it is. Ooh, implacable, not bad. But yeah, it's going to be Salvo. 19 points left over. This here would cost us 15, so we would be down to four. That's not bad either. Good, so we've used all of her points. Is there anything here that is worth taking? Implacable is always not bad. But I think Capacitator Discharger is arguably much better. AoE damage. I like Guardian as well. Yeah, it's such a good skill. Is there anything else that we could do? Dead Eye wouldn't be bad. I like the sound of it. Not some extra damage. It's not quite serial, but Dead Eye is definitely not bad either. Against the Primes. Okay, fantastic. I'll prepare the last team and then we're actually going to not only save uh, the disaster campaign, but also play through it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the awesome firefight and the aftermath of that, please leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.